Okay, geometry, chapter two, section one, inductive reasoning. Reasoning is something um, that we use that gives us results based on facts that we know. For example, reasoning would tell me if I live in Colorado that I have a better opportunity or I have more of a more of a chance of liking snow skiing than if I live in Oklahoma. The reason would be there are more opportunities to do snow skiing in Colorado than there are in Oklahoma. In fact, in Oklahoma, there are zero opportunities to go skiing. I do not know of any ski mountains in Oklahoma. If there are some, please uh, accept my apologies for not knowing where they are. But if I did live in Colorado, I would enjoy it just a little bit more because I got the opportunity to do it more. So in math, reasoning is the same thing. We're going to look at patterns. We're going to look at things that uh, exhibit traits that we can, what's the word I'm looking for, that we can keep going with. Um, for example, let's just take at its basic form even numbers. So if I put the first four even numbers that I know and I created a pattern reasoning tells me that from each step I'm going to go up two digits so if I wanted to know what the next number would be okay, there's my question mark again this is at its basic form I would reason that because everything else has gone up to that I'm going to go up to for that one as well making my next number 10 again that's at its basic form uh, just looking at um, at even numbers now how about show times at the movie theater I go to the movie theater and let's say uh, the new movie, one of the new movies, the very first showing is at 5 p.m. And then the next showing is at 7.15 p.m. And then the next showing is at 9.30 p.m. I can use reasoning to determine when the fourth showing would be. So from 5 p.m. to 7.15 p.m., we have a span of 2 hours and 15 minutes. From 7.15 p.m. to 9.30 p.m., we also have a span of 2 hours and 15 minutes. So using reasoning, that would say my span from 9.30 p.m. to the next showing would also be 2 hours and 15 minutes. So 2 hours and 15 minutes from 9.30 p.m. is going to be 11.45 p.m. Again, just using the information that I know to find the next showing. Okay, got uh, a few little crazy drawings here. This is example B, uh, excuse me, this is example 1, part B on page 89. So we're looking at page 89 and it's example 1B. In the last example, we used movie times. Uh, we can also use shapes, figures, anything that's drawn. And so looking at this example, I didn't draw the whole thing. Uh, I just drew the first three. You'll see in the book example that it draws one, two, three, four, five. It draws the first five. So let's count the number of sides. Obviously, we look at this one. We know that it's four. So I'm going to go right here. Um, we know in the next one that we've already counted the four. 
So then we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. In the next one, we already know that we have 10 that we've already counted. So then we're going to go 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And so we started off with 4. Let's scroll down just a little bit. No, I want to see that whole picture. We've got 4, we've got 10, we've got 18. Now, looking at that example in the book, our next one is going to have 28. And then our next one is going to have 40. So what would the next one be? So that's our question mark. So let's find our pattern. From 4 to 10, we've gone up 6. From 10 to 18, we've gone up 8. From 18 to 28, we've gone up 10. And from 28 to 40, we've gone up 12. So we are going up by two digits each time. And so the next one is going to go up 14, which will mean that our sixth shape, if we were to draw it, would have 54 sections. Okay, so using reasoning to find those sections. Now that we've done all that, let me introduce you to the word conjecture. Conjecture. Conjecture is a statement, and I wish I could spell. There we go. It is a statement um, of the pattern. For example, if I go back to my even number example, we found that each digit went up by two. So if the book asked us to write a conjecture, we would say that the next digit D-I-G-I-T, digit. The next digit is two more than the previous digit. Now, is that the only way you could write that? Absolutely not. Uh, it's just the words that I put it into. The next digit is two more than the previous digit. Um, you could put it's just two more than the last digit. Um, each, there's multiple different ways you could write that. And so I don't want to go through and, and tell you all of them. Each one of you might be different. But just see if it makes sense. So the book's going to say write a conjecture. Then it's going to say find the next one. Obviously, in this case, the next one would be 10. Uh, it would be a little more difficult on the, on the classwork, but not too bad. So that is Chapter 2, Section 1, Inductive Reasoning.